You can actually draw the brachial plexus rather quickly, often in as little as 10 or 15 seconds, especially when you're doing it on a piece of paper. Uh, just to give you an idea how quickly you can draw it, here's how I like to draw it, and then I'll go over it a bit. That's it. I'll do it again a little more slowly. Plus I'll label the parts. Not sure, sure how long that took, but probably less than 15 seconds. Uh, basically all you need to be able to do is draw a straight line. You'll draw that three times, and two of the times you'll add this to it. So there's one, then just a straight line, then just like you did up top. Now the next step, you're going to draw the same thing twice. Basically you're going to do a chevron and turn the top part of it into an X. When you do the second time, you'll just make the chevron a little lower, the point of the chevron lower, plus the X will be a little lower, but it's the same movement twice. So let me fit that in up here. And of course these make up your posterior and anterior cords. And then the second time you draw the chevron is over here, like that. And really the heart of the brachial plexus is done now. We'll just add in some other nerves. Well, one here, one, two, three here, one, two, three here, 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 and that long thoracic, which kind of messes the picture up a bit. That's pretty much the, uh, the gist of the brachial plexus here. Now, to the left, we have Marmu, M-A-R-M-U, five nerves right there. Of course, this pertains to uh, musculocutaneous, axillary, radial, median, and ulnar nerves. That would be the terminal branches portion of the brachial plexus. We'll put a B up here for that. We go on to the cords here, and up here we have the lateral pectoral nerve. And as long as we're thinking pectoral, we can go down to the medial cord and put medial pectoral. And next to that is medial brachial cutaneous and medial antibrachial cutaneous. Antibrachial, of course, is forearm. Brachial is arm. But there's a couple neat things here. First of all, they all start with the letter M. Plus, as you go proximal to distal, you have two, three, then four letters. That helps keep things in order. And the last one here um, just happens to have A, B, C, which is another nice way to remember things. The posterior cord here, we have upper middle and lower um, subscapular nerves put subscapular right here and easy way to remember that is keep in mind we are talking about a pen here the shoulders over here this vertebrae so we got c5 6 7 8 and t1 and as the shoulder goes out it hangs down so your shoulder has an upper, middle, lower portion. These just follow the order of, of the arm, proximal to distal. Uh, the middle subscapular is also known as the thoracodorsal nerve, which goes to the latissimus dorsi. And then you have the upper and lower subscapular nerves, which innervate the uh, upper and lower um, subscapularis muscle, respectively. Um, lower also goes to the teres major. Over here, we've got the suprascapular nerve. Down here, I just put N2S, which is nerve 2 subclavian. Here, we'll put dorsal scapular. And this one here is the long thoracic nerve. Uh, something else I kind of like to keep, uh, like what we had in our last test, was uh, the muscles, number of muscles that these nerves innervate. It's kind of nice as you go. Uh, you go 2 by the A, 2 by the L, and 2 down here, and then back up here by the uh, suprascapular nerve, put a 2, boom, boom, boom. That kind of helped me remember um, which nerves went to two muscles. And the axillary nerve, um, these two nerves actually go to the teres major and minor. And to remember which is which, usually when we're taught, we're always taught minor over major. And as you look at this drawing superiorly to inferiorly, um, you would have the teres minor going to the axillary 
nerve and the teres major going at the lower subscapular nerve. Of course, the other muscle for lower subscapular would be the subscapular muscle. Pectoral, the median pectoral nerve, medial pectoral nerve, that, you know, goes to pec major, pec minor. I think uh, that's it. And I kind of like to draw you know, dorsal scapular goes to the three. And over here in the corner, the musculocutaneous goes to three muscles also. And as far as I know so far, I do believe the uh, median nerve goes to four muscles. There could be more. But th basically, this is where I'm at right now. Um, if you want to do any further labeling, um, you know, this is the posterior, posterior, posterior. And a good way to remember that is keep in mind that the brachial plexus, the lateral, medial, or lateral, posterior, and medial portions of the brachial plexus are in relationship to the axillary artery. So if this red marker here were the axillary artery, it would sit like this, and the posterior section runs behind the axillary artery. So it makes sense that all the, the branches, the pieces of nerve that make up this posterior cord would naturally be the posterior um, divisions of the brachial plexus. And there's three posterior, three anterior, so your anterior, you know, is what's left over. It's pretty simple. And I do believe our teacher likes to label um, the upper and lower parts of the chevron here, which would be, since this comes from the lateral cord, I'll call this the lateral head, and down here is the medial head of the uh, median nerve. And one other thing to notice, it sort of forms the letter M, kind of a skewed letter M, but an M nonetheless, so... So M, Marmu, three M's down here, kind of helps. The middle subscapular is different because it's also known as the thoracodorsal nerve. That's pretty much it. Like I said, it's very simple to draw. Just one, two, three, chevron, complete the X. And then the same thing, just a little lower with the point, a little lower with the X part. One, one, two, three, one, two, three. Here, 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 thoracodorsal, or long thoracic nerve there, and then label it. Uh, something else I tended to keep in mind when I was first uh, learning this, here's Marmu again, is uh, roots or rami, trunks, divisions, cords, and branches. Uh, the mnemonic I used was remember to drink cold beer. And when you're also looking at this on the uh, rami portion or roots, uh, there you got two nerves there. Uh, the trunks, there's two nerves there. Uh, the divisions, you got nothing. <laughs> and then with the cords, you have seven here, five here. So seven, five, that's 12 plus four is 16. That's a pretty good start. I mean, I, I know there's other little things. There's a communicating branch sometimes, like in the netter's photos, that goes from the medial pectoral to the lateral pectoral. But for simplicity, I think this is pretty good. That's pretty much uh, all I got for now, so that's it. Brachial plexus.